Hello, and welcome to What AM, a daily look at world, national, regional news, sports, campus events, and weather. I'm Gage Tunison. A Marion County man acquitted in the murder of his mother is now suing several people, including his father. The attorney for Jason Carter maintains authorities botched the investigation in 2015. Shirley Carter was found shot dead in her home. Although he was found not guilty of the crime, he was found liable in a civil suit. The lawsuit alleges Bill Carter, his father, made defamatory statements about Jason Carter, causing local businesses to refuse to work with him. A new state program with mail-free kits with a drug used to reverse opioid overdoses to anyone in the state after they have a video consultation with a pharmacist. The director of the Department of Public Health Opioids in in Initiatives, Kevin Gabbert, says they have partnered with the University of Iowa to offer the naloxone, also known as Narcan, for those who can't afford them. He says it can cost upward of $150 for a two-dose kit. Gabbert says they're trying to make sure that any Iowans who want to have a Narcan kit because they're concerned about someone who uses opioids can get one. The health department says 137 Iowans died of the opioid overdose last year. We'll be right back with a look at your WIT TV weather and entertainment news. First, here's a look at the launch menu for today. Western Iowa Tech's Video and Media Production Program has been awarded an Upper Midwest Emmy Foundation 2019 Student Production Crystal Pillar Award. This award was presented by the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences for Excellence in Production. Tune in to Siouxland's leading student-run newscast. It's the ideal place to stay informed with the latest in free activities for students and events happening on campus. Produced on campus in Western Iowa Tech's WIT TV studio. New episodes air every Friday afternoon on YouTube. Remember to subscribe and click the bell icon to get your weekly rundown for students, staff, and the community of Western Iowa Tech Community College. Welcome back. In entertainment news, Chris Rock is launching a new project on what it's like being African American in social settings. A project called My One Black Friend will look at experiences of being the only African American friend in a group. Rock is reaching out to his fans for help. The actor says his latest project will give an honest look at friendship and racial relations with a comedic twist. Jennifer Hudson has big shoes to film for her last latest role. The singer is currently working on the 2020 biopic Respect and is playing the late Queen of Soul. In an interview with Willie Geist of Sunday Today, Hudson said portraying Aretha Franklin are huge shoes to fill. Hudson's role as Franklin was announced last year, but Franklin told people that she had already approved of who was going to portray her on screen. Taking a look at today's weather, today it will be foggy before noon, but will gradually clear up throughout the day and have a high of 27. Tonight, it will be partly cloudy with a low of 14 degrees, and tomorrow will be sunny with a high of around 34 degrees. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to check up on the latest WIT TV programming and our website and our YouTube page. See you tomorrow.